one of the biggest things to understand about what's happening with social networks and social change work to understand is that something very fundamental about change hasn't changed at all, and that's our stories matter. Uh, before you get to any kind of organizing, offline or online, before you get to door knocking or your email campaigns or your you know, constituent relationship management software choices, change has to start with our stories. And storytelling has been one of the most powerful building blocks of social change since the beginning of time. So you think about how long humans have been sitting around the campfire, and that's essentially what we're doing on social network. We're sharing our stories with one another. So there's something keenly magical that happens when we share our stories with one another. So I, I use this particular tweet a lot um, to, to talk about how the, the minutia of our lives actually matter and actually set the stage for massive cultural change. So there's this blogger that goes by Womanist Musings, and she's completely awesome. And she tweeted one day, I'm just getting in from spending the day outside with the family. The unhusband is once again about to burn dinner, though he calls it barbecue. Okay. So did that tweet change anyone's life in any one way? Like, did it significantly make a difference in your life at all, other than make you giggle for a second? No, the answer is no, right? Everybody's got that? No? <laughs> all right, okay, good. That's the right answer. If it's not no, talk to me later, or no, don't. Anyway. Um, <laughs> So the idea is not that these individual updates or these individual tiny little stories matter, but over time you start to create a portrait of what your life is like when you're sharing each one of those updates. And a technology writer named Clive Thompson described it as ambient awareness of one another. And we're, each one is like a point in a pointillist painting, and we're painting the portraits of our lives as we share them with one another. And from there, we create empathy. Empathy is the opposite of apathy. It's the fundamental building block of social change. That's what we do when we share our stories, and social networks can facilitate that.